Olama is an amazing tool to run AI models locally on your laptop. On Mac, Windows, and Linux, it's so incredibly easy to install and get up and running. Far easier than any other tool for this purpose. But often in the Discord, we see folks ask how to update their Olama installation. So in this video, I just wanted to show you everything you need to know to update your Olama instances to both the current version, as well as a pre-release or any past releases, since that's the same process. When we first started building Olama, the install was a little bit rough, but we got it in line within a couple of weeks, and it's been great ever since. I say we because I was on the Olama team when we started working on it. I'm no longer on the team, instead focusing on building out this YouTube channel, but we're still good friends, and I still talk to the team regularly. This video is part of my weekly series called the Olama Course. If it's the first video you've seen, take a look at the playlist to see the rest of the videos in this course. I'll look at this update process from the perspective of a Mac user, a Windows user, and a Linux user, as well as Docker users on Windows and Linux in that order. If you're using Olama via WSL on Windows, you really should transition to using the native Windows install since it's, it's just so much faster. And if you're using Docker on Mac, then you should also switch to the native install since Docker on Mac has no access to the GPU. If you only care about one of those platforms, the timestamps to zoom ahead to that platform should be on screen right now. So Mac first. Now there are a number of ways to install Olama, but only one way that is recommended by the team. And that is the official installer on the Olama homepage. Some folks like to install with brew, but there really isn't any benefit to doing so. The brew package is not maintained by the authors of Olama. Some say it's easier to upgrade, and I think that may have been true for about two weeks or so back in June of 2023, but since then, it's just easier to use the official installer, which is also the most stable way to install Olama. So I'm assuming that you've already done that. Now, when there's an update to Olama, you'll see the menu bar icon changed to show a little arrow on it. Click the icon and choose Restart to Update. It's possible that the text shown will change at some point in the future, but it should be something like that. Olama will update itself and be back up and running for you to use. And that's it. There's nothing else for you to do. How about if you want to update to a new pre-release version? Well, just go to the Olama homepage and then click on the link to GitHub. Then on the right side, click on Releases. Way at the top, there's the latest version. If there's a pre-release, then that's gonna be at the top. Otherwise, it's the latest full release. A pre-release is just a version that's still not fully fleshed out and may have some issues. You shouldn't update to this version unless you need a specific feature it promises to solve. If you wanna go back to an earlier version, then scroll down on the releases page to find whichever version you want. Expand assets, and then you'll wanna download the file called olama-darwin.zip. This is the full installer and is the file you most probably want. Make sure you click the Olama icon in the menu bar and choose quit. Then unzip Olama Darwin and run the Olama app that's extracted. Since the app is probably not in the correct directory, it'll prompt to move it to the right place. After that's happened, you should be all set. So that was pretty easy. You know, it's almost as easy as giving a like and subscribe to this video. That makes such a huge difference to the channel and I greatly appreciate everyone who does it. Thanks so much for being here. Now let's move on to Windows. As with the Mac, there are different alternate ways to install Olama, but most of the time you really should be using the default installer, which you can find on the Olama homepage. Once Olama is installed, it'll alert you when there's a new version to install. So click the Olama icon on the taskbar, then click Restart to Update. Olama will download the latest version and update itself for you. How about if you want to install something other than the latest released version? Maybe it's a pre-release or even an earlier version. Well, go to olama.com, then click on GitHub. On the right is releases, and you can see a list of all the available releases, with the latest one up at the top. Scroll up or down to find the pre-release you want or an older version. Expand assets and find olamasetup.exe. 
Download that, then make sure to quit your running Olama if it's running right now. Run Olama setup and walk through the prompts. And you are now all set on your chosen version of Olama on Windows. Okay, on to Linux. Just like we saw with Mac and Windows, there are a few different ways to install Olama on Linux. The best is the official install script. There are other install packages available, but they sometimes default to pre-releases and cause problems. To update Olama to the latest version on Linux, you need to do a different process than on the other platforms. Since there is no menu bar or taskbar icon to click, you need to simply run the install script again. So that's curl fssl https colon slash slash olama.com slash install sh. And then you pipe that to sh. It'll get up and running super quickly. If you wanted to see what that script is doing, simply take a look at the script at the URL and you can see it's pretty simple. If you want to install a different version, such as a pre-release or older version, just set the Olama version environment variable at the command line before running the shell. So curl fssl https colon slash slash olama.com slash install sh. Then pipe that to Olama version equals 0.4.0 or whatever version you like, then sh. It really is that easy. The final platform to look at is Docker. There's nothing specific about Olama when updating it using Docker. It's the same process for any Docker-based application. Stop the container, remove the image, pull the latest version from Docker Hub, then run it again using the same command you did before. Because you mounted a volume for the models, they're intact when deleting the image and starting again. So that's easy, but even easier is to use a second container called Watchtower. Watchtower runs at a regular interval and will then update all the containers you want to update. Here's the Docker Compose file I use for Watchtower. It runs every few hours and keeps things up to date. I do this on a server on which I run N8N and searching and no code DB, and I never have to think about updating. It's pretty amazing. And that is pretty much everything you need to know about updating Olama on every single supported platform. It's pretty painless regardless of the platform you use. I hope this was useful to you and that you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching. Goodbye.